Hi, I'm Diana and I am here in Salt Lake City with an America's Greatest Otaku Candidate, Serene Al-Sahawi. So, can you tell me about your first exposure to manga or anime? Back in my homeland in Iraq, my first exposure to anime was on TV. And they were all dubbed in Arabic. Rendizer, Rose of Versailles, Suzuki, and all those wonderful things. They were made in the 70s and 80s. After immigrating here in 1995, I had an exposure to manga when I was in junior high. It was at the library here. It was Sailor Moon. I see you have a lot of artwork here, and this is all yours? Mm-hmm. It was mainly just different types of mangas, for instance, Death Note, Kingdom Hearts, Naruto, and I took part in it too. I was actually the creator of the anthology. I have done the Death Note one, mm -hmm. Boku no Pocky. Which is about Pocky. Yes, it was about Pocky and the short four comma of Death Note. Now, I also did Naruto, the four comma one, and One Piece. And of course, Oran. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a fan book. Have, do you have any plans to do any original manga? I'm actually planning on doing original manga for uh, professional publishing, but mm -hmm. I actually have an online manga in, that I've started in high school in 2004. Mm -hmm. The title is called Tiger Punch. Well, it's about this orphan boy, and he's a college student. He is around 16 years old. And suddenly he encounters a cat and that cat talks. That cat tells him that he used to be the prince of Scotland. It wasn't actually written in history. And for that, he has to go all the way to Scotland and change history, along with his sidekick, which is his um, best friend. I'd like everyone to read it. You brought your um, Italia books? Yes. Would you consider yourself a really big Italia fan? I am a huge fan of Italia. Just because I love history and culture in the countries, I started to get hooked on it. Because it is referenced with the World War, it makes, it makes me giggle. <laughs> <laughs> have you considered doing a fan book for that as well? I actually have done a fan book in Japan. Okay. It's not here with me actually, it's actually with my friend in Japan. Have you ever been to Japan? I've never been to Japan. But you, <laughs> you worked on a doujinshi. How did that process work? Well, you have to have contacts with your friends in Japan mm -hmm. at first. With your Japanese knowledge, you have to find a certain event that you want to participate in. And for that, agree with your friend to help out registering and help out sending your files to the... That sounds really complicated. <laughs> it is a complicated <laughs> process. If I were in Japan, I would do the whole thing on my own. So have you been learning Japanese? I've been learning Japanese since junior high. I started to learn on my own and then I took classes in high school and college. And nowadays I'm still self-learning and hopefully reach to um, JLPT Nikyu which is more like a business level Japanese. When did your ambition to become a manga artist start? When I first saw Sailor Moon manga. Ever since seventh grade? Yes. That's amazing. And finally, would you consider yourself an otaku? Yes. There are different levels of otaku. There's um, mild and hardcore. Mm -hmm. So I'm in between. And I'm more of a manga person, so I'm more of a manga otaku. Do you consider yourself America's greatest otaku? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering myself as America's greatest otaku. Thank you, Shireen. Is she America's greatest otaku? We'll have to find out. <laughs>